Seeing as the news in this country has been so depressing of late, we wanted to take a little time out tonight to focus on something joyous and hopeful. And there's nothing more joyous and hopeful than bringing a new life into the world. So with that in mind, please welcome our pregnancy correspondent, Felicity Woods! <laughs> Thanks, Nish. Yes, I am indeed pregnant, or as the Italians say, prego. <laughs> they do say that. Well, firstly, can I say congratulations? And secondly, how far along are you? Um, I'm seven months pregnant, and I've got this pregnancy app that tells me how far along I am and what size my baby is compared to a piece of food. So first it was a grain of rice, and then a red lentil, and now it's the size of a pineapple. And it's such a great feature if you want to imagine what it's like to eat your baby. <laughs> I mean, it must be amazing to have a human life growing inside you. Oh, Nish, the pregnant body is absolutely incredible. I can't believe it's not on the news every night. I mean, what did you do this morning? Had a cough. Ah, made a brain with my uterus. <laughs> Didn't even use my hands, mate. It's not a competition, but I am better than you. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not disputing that. <laughs> um, what, what is the hardest thing about being pregnant? Oh, shat myself? <laughs> Twice. Once while I was on stage. Didn't even know it was happening. Can you smell something? Don't answer that. Thank God, I thought that was me. <laughs> Plus, I've also had to go to the emergency room four times for bleeding, and I've had to have steroid injections to strengthen my baby's lungs. And this has been an easy pregnancy, and one that I wanted. <laughs> Imagine if I was going through this because I couldn't get an abortion. Whoa, 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 Felicity. Can we not talk about abortion in front of your unborn baby? Oh, my God, you're absolutely right. I'm sorry. I mean, it still seems a little bit confronting to be talking to a pregnant woman about abortion. Really? You know, statistically, 100% of abortions involve pregnancy. <laughs> it's like a crucial part. I thought you were smart. You should do some reading, Nish. <laughs> Look, Nish, the fact is, when it comes to reproductive rights, we don't seem to listen to people who need abortions or people who've had abortions or women who don't have children. So I thought, maybe this might get people's attention. <laughs> Felicity, I was really expecting this segment to be a little bit less about abortion rights and a bit more about your cute baby. Oh, well, I can do that. Nish, look at this. We bought him a little onesie! Look how small it is! Isn't it? Isn't it? And also, I didn't even know this existed, I bought a pregnancy painting kit. You paint your stomach. I hate myself, but I love him, and I've never even met him before! Oh! Yes! This is the content. This is what we've been after. Yes. Now, let's talk about Northern Ireland's restrictive abortion laws. Oh, course. gosh. <laughs> so, this week, pregnant Labour MP Stella Creasy, shout out to my heartburn sister, <laughs> she was targeted by a really horrible advertisement paid for by anti-abortion activists in her constituency. It was protesting against her amendment, which could mean that later this month, abortion rights will be extended to Northern Ireland. Because right now, in Northern Ireland, Abortion is illegal even in the cases of rape and incest. Can I get a chair? I'm still pregnant. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> they don't fold anymore. <laughs> so, Northern Ireland is going to be brought in line with the rest of the UK where abortion's been decriminalised. Oh, the UK. You think abortion's been decriminalised in the UK? Yeah, I think abortion's been Nish, been in the UK, it's still technically a criminal offence to have an abortion. It's also still technically a criminal offence to touch a pelican, but that's another segment. Wait, <laughs> what do you mean it's a criminal offence? Well, you can't just walk up to a pelican and start, like, playing with... No, I mean about abortion. Oh, right, yeah. So, the Abortion Act of 1967 means that even though it's a crime, it's legal to get an abortion under certain circumstances. Basically, most abortions are like wearing a mankini. It's not punishable by law, but it's still considered a criminal act. <laughs> the wider point here is that women's rights over their own bodies are still not clear-cut, and we're still debating it. It's still happening. I mean... You thought you were bored of talking about Brexit. <laughs> Imagine how long we've been trying to discuss legal abortion and autonomy over our own body. <laughs> oh, we have fun. <laughs> now, I'm about to say something that's never been said before. We should be more like the Isle of Man. <laughs> I know. They completely decriminalised abortion in May of this year. Come on, people. We're falling behind the Isle of Man. You know? The Isle of Man 
Ryan's capital is called Douglas. <laughs> Their flag is just three legs. There's three legs that have been slapped together like a Toy Story character. You put fireworks on each of the feet, you got yourself a Catherine wheel. I mean, look at it. It's one leg short of a swastika. <laughs> This segment has somehow gone from pregnancy to abortion to Nazis. Pregnancy's a wild ride, man. <laughs> Look, I'm so stoked about being pregnant. This is the best thing that's ever happened to me. But I just thought it's important to remind people that not every pregnancy is as wanted as mine, and we're still having this conversation. In 2019, there are still lots of pregnant people in the UK who don't have the ability to make safe choices about what happens to their body without the threat of going to prison. Well, that is fair enough. And I also wanted to come on, because I thought this was also really important, to show you this. We're going to call him Douglas! <laughs> <laughs> Felicity Ward, everyone!